Someone dial up Eugene. Down go the Ducks in Tempe. 31-28. Zach Keenan, Brady Vernon as the Sun Devils knock off the number six ranked Oregon Ducks, ending a four-game losing skid. Brady, oh my goodness. What an incredible game. And first off, the offense was just rejuvenated from the game's past, was it not? It was. It. They were finally making big plays. As we talked about last week, they were getting plays down the field. And Frank Darby had two huge catches in the end zone. He had his own kind of revenge game, because if you remember last year in Eugene, it was a two-point conversion where they called him out of bounds. It ended up being the decisive factor in that game. And the best part was they weren't trailing coming into their first drive. And that was the thing that was different, was the defense was good off the start, too, as well. And, and that's huge, exactly, that defense that was good off the start. And because that's like the offense, so different than what we've seen in games past. Uh, how was the defense so successful tonight? Honestly, I think they kind of helped from Justin Herbert, who is classified as one of the better quarterbacks in Pac-12, having a very rough night himself. There was a couple times where he was just off. And like it wasn't more because there was pass rush here or there. But guys are also just executing more. There wasn't a guy running down the field wide open like there has been before in the past couple of weeks. And to be honest, the run game was working for Oregon, and they, they just weren't going to it as much. And guys started making those plays that were here or there. Like Chase Lucas had a play where it seemed like Oregon thought they had a free play. He still went with a, made a play, goes that way. They had two picks against Justin Herbert, who had only thrown three coming into this game. So it seemed like they were truly fired up for this and didn't let it happen where they were down 28 going into the halftime. And that probably was a huge part of the Sun Devils game is that they didn't trail as they have. They weren't down 21 points in the first quarter, and that's a huge part of the game. How do you think that affects the mentality going into the U of A game next week? I'm sorry, you Arizona. It's going to be that thing that now that ASU's bowl eligible, coming off a big win, can you bring that energy again for a rivalry game? I mean, some of these guys probably will. It's senior day, whatnot. But you also have to guess, that's Arizona's Super Bowl. They've heard all the jokes for a year. I mean, after that comeback last year, they're going to want to come in here and just whip tail whether they can be bowl eligible or not because they want to just ruin that day for the seniors here. And so ASU better be expecting a ton from the Wildcats, even if they haven't played very well this season. Now, last week we talked a lot about the vertical versus horizontal passing game, and it's like Rob Likens was reading your tweets, Brady. I don't know if he was. They did. Well, I applaud you, Rob. We're going with my ideas. Great work here at Sun Devil Stadium as the Sun Devils make work of the Oregon Ducks. 31-28 final score. We'll see you next week as ASU takes on you, Arizona. That's the right version, right? Here at Sun Devil Stadium.